welcome to uh, Uwasa uh, Chapel. <laughs> Cold breeze, yeah, cold breeze, yeah. It's not so hot, huh? Yeah. Cold breeze. How about night? Oh. <laughs> so good. How about stars? Nice. Uh, great. Uh, when, when you guys moved to Hiroshima? Last, last year ago. Oh, year ago, right? One year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. One year ago. Yeah. And, and then uh, moved to uh, the Toyohira's uh, house and stay at three months. Uh, we've been looking for a place uh, to, uh, for uh, your ministry. And it took about uh, maybe eight, eight months or so. So it's not uh, easy to find a good place. I thought it, it, it might uh, find a good place so easily because we heard many old houses in the countryside. But it's it, it not so easy is, uh, as I uh, imagined. Yeah, but finally God uh, gave a lead, uh, led us here, and, and uh, so uh, as, like Kevin said, this is promised. Yeah. We go through the uh, maybe in, uh, Sinai Peninsula, <laughs> you know, like Exodus, but finally uh, we are here. Today I'd like to. Uh, here from the chapter, uh, uh, Acts chapter 6, 16, 6 to 10, this uh, passage was came on uh, like suddenly when I was asked to uh, uh, preach at this opening service. It, it was one month uh, ago, supposed, supposed to we have it one month ago, but we had heavy rain the day before. So we must on to uh, today, but uh, this passage was came on. Let me read. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Perugia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit, Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, 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 they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. The reason why I, the passage came on uh, when I was uh, thinking about preaching here was that uh, I first I met with uh, Art and Darcy uh, at SmileCon. I was so impressed there. Uh, vision. They said they are here, they in Japan, to uh, serve the hikikomori people. This big American guy <laughs> wants to help the hikikomori. Why? That was very uh, surprised. As you know, I've been uh, uh, counseling and helping some Kikikomori family and people, but not so many counselors or hospitals or uh, help the Kikikomori people. Although uh, somebody says about a million Kikikomori people in Japan, maybe 40,000 or 80,000 and sometimes million. That much of the people who cannot work Sometimes somebody can go out, can't have the friends, 
you know, they're, they're ruining their uh, lives in this wealthy, safe country. What's wrong with that? So my dissertation was uh, how to uh, rescue or how to help the Hikikomori people, especially they have the uh, uh, development disorder about 10 years ago. So I, I've been working and thinking, but the, we haven't had any progress in government, you know, or uh, psychology or doctors. They just ignore it. Let them withdraw. They let them stay. At home. They don't think the the common people are so sad. They are. They have struggling. They have hard time, especially the uh, struggling with family, parents. It's a tragedy. Many like suicide, die, you know, and they're getting older. So you know, we, uh, I, uh, as a, as one of the, uh, my, uh, as the one who uh, ha been helping the Hikikomori, uh, you know, we praying and we, I'm trying to uh, make the, the networks or looking for other counselors to help, but it's, it's not easy. But at, at that time, they came and tell, tell me, they told me, we want to help Hikikomori. What? What? You know, I did not know them. Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't know them so, so much still. But I was so surprised and, you know, I saw his face and her face as angels. This big guy looks like an angel. Yeah. With some scared. tattoo. Yeah. Birds are scared when they see angels. <laughs> yeah. You're not here. You're not here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I did not know about them, their backgrounds and anything, but they, they said that they want to move to Hiroshima and looking for, uh, they want to start the ministry in this prefecture. And I said, okay, why not? Well, to help. I did not know them. But I, I know, you know, they're, they're hard. They want to help somebody who need to help. Like this scripture. Maybe they heard the voice from Hikikomori in Macedonia or in Japan. Come over and help us. Right? Is that true? I think so. Yeah. However, uh, they were, they, I think they were uh, looking for the place uh, to help the Hikikomori in Nagoya area, right? Mm -hmm. For some years. Mm -hmm. But they could not find, like this scripture. Paul and companions wants to preach, wants to uh, spread the gospel. The Holy Spirit kept them out. Mm. No. And they go into the different place. The Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to preach. What? Jesus. Spirit of Jesus wouldn't allow them to preach. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? But the reason why Holy Spirit and Jesus, Spirit of Jesus did not allow them to preach that area was lead them to the place they can across the sea. Right? So, uh, Art and Dursi had a hard time at, at Nagoya area, but they 
The reason because Jesus want you guys to come here. Right? Yes. Now we know what? But, uh, as I mentioned, they moved to Hiroshima, and not easy to find this place. Yeah, it took about eight, seven or eight months. Yeah. It's not easy. But uh, finally, look at this. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. This whole rice area, too. This belongs to this house, right? Yeah. Yeah? And go. For sacrifice, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, I think this is, so I'm pretty sure this is God's will. This is a place you start your ministry. And this is a place God will use you to help the Hikikomori people. But not only Hikikomori people, but also the people of this area, Hiroshima. God will have God have the different plan from ours. Right? Yeah. We can only see the small pole, but God has the whole vision. Right? But we can go just follow his footsteps through the small hole. But finally, God will give us the goal. I have one uh, hmm, suggestion about this house. I was thinking about the name. Have you have any names? Big Morning Farms. Big Bunny Farm. Oh, what's up? Big, big morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that bad? Yeah. Uh, I think this this uh, house is. Uh, I want to put a name. Uh, Samaritans Inn. Samaritans. How about that? Samaritans Inn yeah. at Big Morning Farm. <laughs> <laughs> The injured person will be brought here. Got rest and heal. That's why I think that name. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Only, only him. <laughs> well, that's, that's, you know, you, you, I, you don't need to put the summer dance in, but it's kind of my idea. However, uh, uh, praise the Lord. Yeah. And to thank you for uh, all of you. Uh, look at this God's family. Right? Amen. Yeah. So you have this whole family praying for you and support you. And we come here next time easily because we're here once. <laughs> Lev, have you lost a little bit? No. No? Really? No, I went 20 meters too far. Oh, <laughs> 20 meters. Just 20 meters. No. Okay. So you can say 20 meter next. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys are ready, man. And we, I'm not. I personally no, don't know. God will, how God will use this place, how God will use you. But I'm pretty sure God is glad. Yes. Yeah. To see the place, the people, this church, and. Because just glad to hear our voice in prayer. So uh, let's have a uh, uh, Owasa uh, service maybe once a year, right? Mm. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, good. That's a good idea, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah. spring or fall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the summer is okay. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Winter, maybe. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Snow. Yeah. This high? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's always like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I want uh, Pastor Kevin to preach. Did pray. you preach? Yeah, pre oh, no, pray. Pray. Yeah, pray. Preach. Yeah, yeah, pray. 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 Yeah. All right.
Our precious Heavenly Father, thank you for this couple who heeded your call. Lord, you've taken them through the fire. There's more fire to go through, we know. Lord, we just thank you that they've submitted to you, Lord. They just give it all for you. We thank you for this place you finally brought them to. It wasn't easy. It was a long journey. But you, here we are. Glory to your name. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you would cover them and protect them and strengthen them and heal them, and restore them, and fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. To overflowing, Lord. Let them overflow to the neighbors, Lord, and beyond that. Lord, through their ministry to the community, through their lifestyle, through their walks around the neighborhood. Just, Lord, change lives by their very presence, we pray. Lord, we pray for this house. We pray for this land. Lord, we pray for every room, every corner of this house, that it would just be filled with your blessings. Lord, there would be no space for any evil in this house, on this property. Lord, set your angels at every corner of this property, above this property, Lord. Allow no evil here, we pray. Father, we just ask that anyone who would come here to visit or for ministry, Lord, would go away a completely different person. Lord, touch lives through this couple, through their children, through their ministry. Lord, we'll give you all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 All right.